friends. Hey, thanks for joining me on this quick paddle out to Skagit Island in northwestern Washington state. I'll be paddling by sea kayak from Cornet Bay, oh, only about 2.4 nautical miles over to Little Skagit Island, which is right here at the northern end of Skagit Bay. I've kayaked to this island several times over the years, but usually as like a quick stop on a longer trip. Today I'm going to camp there overnight, which will give me plenty of time to hike the trail around the island, check out some of the wildlife, and photograph some of the beautiful madrone trees that grow along its rocky shoreline. This is all located just east of Deception Pass, one of our prized state parks here in Washington State. First we paddle northeast out of Cornet Bay and around Hoipus Point. Then we simply paddle east across the northern end of Skagit Bay and land on a nice gravel beach on the northern tip of Skagit Island. Today we will have currents and winds working with us. Currents here at Yokeko Point will top out at 2.2 knots although I'm only expecting about one knot at the time that I go through there. Winds are forecast to come out of the west at five to 10 knots with wind waves of about one foot. With both currents and winds that are back, I expect to cover the 2.4 nautical miles in a little over half an hour. So let's get going. Okay, so we're underway. Uh, just leaving Cornet Bay now. I'm gonna head towards Hopus Point, which is over here. Um, you can see Deception, you can see Deception Pass Bridge over here. We have uh, wind five to ten knots coming from the west this way, as well as currents outside the bay going that way around Hopeless Point, which is where I'm going. So that's all great, all working for me. I have a current going my way, and I'll have a wind at my back, so that'll make things easier. Okay, just coming around Hopeless Point and uh, got Skagit Island straight ahead there, that little island there. So I'm going to aim for just the left edge of the island, the north end, where there's the uh, nice beach landing. So this is the northern end of, uh, this is the northern end of Skagit Bay. Have a nice tailwind. Currents are still pretty weak right now, but building and working in my direction. They will um, eventually curve this way in front of me, so I'll have to do maybe a little bit of a ferry angle to cross the current to get to the, uh, the Skagit Island. All right, I'm about halfway across the northern end of Skagit Bay. Uh, Skagit Island's right there. I'm aiming for the left hand side of the island, which is the north end of the island. Have a nice 10 knot tailwind. Uh, waves are supposed to be up to a foot. Wind waves are supposed to be up to a foot. Not seeing that quite yet, but uh, everything's, everything's looking good. Made it to Skagit Island. This is the uh, the beach on the north end of the island here where I landed. Uh, my camp is just right here, just right in the woods, uh, overlooking the water. Uh, great view. Um, across the channel here, just about 100 yards, is Kicket Island. 
And uh, then this is looking down the rest of Skagit Bay, uh, Hope Island, right here. I'll be, I'll be uh, paddling there tomorrow on the way back home. Uh, just saw some uh, a raccoon up, up here. Raccoons uh, patrol the beach looking for food uh, during low tide. I uh, just found one and uh, up a tree over here. Um, I'll, I'm sure we'll be seeing more of them as the day and night goes on. So uh, yeah, time to start setting up camp.